we're telling employers is that uh, they can continue to enforce their drug and alcohol policies the way they have. Weed may be legal in Washington, but can you lose your job for using? And in the, careful, in the category of be careful of what you wish for, a Spokane, Washington man was so excited to buy legal pot this week, but soon found it does have its consequences. Our business reporter, Joe Smith, found out it's not because he bought it. No, absolutely not. He was absolutely okay to do that, but he decided to let a TV crew follow him home and watch him smoke it. That's where his troubles began. Thank you. I am number one and yeah. nobody can take that. Mike Boyer was first in line to buy legal marijuana at Spokane's Green Leaf this week, but his high fives soon faded. As of 2.30 today, I am uh, unemployed from that company. A co-worker saw him on TV lighting up and smoking his newly purchased pot. The security company Boyer worked for asked him to take a drug test. He did, testing positive for THC. He failed. He was fired. But in a strange twist of events, his employer hired him back. I predicted at the start of the year that marijuana would be one of the five big issues in employment law this year. And so Michael far, McClory true. is an employment lawyer with Bullard Law in Portland. He says for employers, legalizing recreational pot is opening a cannabis of worms. It, it is a whole new world and it's the same world. Uh, there are going to be uh, more employees and more applicants who are using marijuana legally, uh, whether it's medical marijuana or personal use. Um, and that is going to mean that employers are going to see more positive drug tests, both for their applicants uh, and uh, current employees. For employers, it's about balancing a worker's privacy with on-the-job performance. If I'm an employer, I can have a no drug, no alcohol policy, and I can enforce it. With Washington's new law in effect and with Oregon likely to follow, McClory says employers need to have a very clear drug and alcohol policy in place. I can follow the policy, send that person out for testing, and if positive, follow the policy and take whatever disciplinary action is appropriate, which often is termination. Big deep breath, blow, blow, blow. Unlike blow, alcohol, blow, blow. for pot users. Marijuana, as you know, it tends to stay in your system longer. Up to 30 days, according to Guru Sankar with Doctors Express, he says drug testing can produce what's called non-negative results, creating a gray area. When it's not negative, uh, that means it needs to be reviewed by a medical review officer. That could be enough to weed out a potential employee, and then there's a matter of a person's impairment using the drug. There's no standardized test for that. As for Mike Boyer, he's now back to work with his employers, thanking them for a little pot luck. This is something we're going to have to figure out with all this legalization. Where, where is going to be the gray line? And attorney Michael McClory tells me a company's drug and alcohol policy also covers marijuana for medical use. Laurel. Thank you, Joe.